Hi, this is Vivek Desai from Intel. I am working in the field of VLSI since past 8 years. VLSI stands for Very Large Scale Integration, which is part of microelectronics. Currently, I am working as a design lead. Mayur gave us a very good introduction of full stack development and how you can apply it in your career. So, let's talk about development in general. So, you have a thought or an idea which you want to convert it into reality or say a product. So how do you go about it? The process of doing that exactly is called as development. Ever since the transistor was invented in 1960s, the technology has started to come alive and now it's literally part of our lives. And this journey was not easy. There have been so many developments in terms of hardware, software and going hand in hand we have reached to this stage nowadays we see a lot of complex uh, developments happening around but even though it looks complex it's made of lot of simple things bound together we as engineers are required to find solutions to problems in smarter ways to ease human life and improve quality of life and one of the ways to do that is programming. There are n number of languages which are available nowadays for which you don't even require to know how actually uh, the hardware works when you write that program. It's been so simple nowadays. There are huge libraries available for each language which makes the programming very simple. But irrespective of any programming language you are coding in, your approach and thinking matters a lot. The way you approach to a problem and uh, the way you understand the problem differs you from other programmers. Understanding the problem is half the problem solved. If you are thinking of making career into software development industry, then you should have very good interest in creative thinking. You should have will to understand the problems and think about the solutions. And of course your basics should be very strong. Everything boils down around the basic knowledge that you have. And your approach towards a problem matters a lot. There are n number of ways. But the way you approach to a problem that differs you from others. I am working in the VLSI field which uh, mostly is related to transistor level hardware designing but we are also required to do fair amount of scripting say in Tickle or Perl etc. So by my experience I can say that irrespective of any language any programming should have all the cases uh, corner cases covered your program should be scalable it should be reusable and it should be optimal especially in the era where huge data is being pumped in in and out every second an optimized program is very important and all you get to a level of expert is by practicing is by hands-on experience so keep practicing and coding smartly all the best thank you for inviting me mayur